One, two, three, close. One, two, three, start. All right, this is gonna be my best way of showing you how to install Clonezilla on a flash drive and how to back up your SSD or your hard drive. So we're gonna open up a web browser here and all we're gonna do is go to Google and type in Clonezilla and then under downloads, you will find, I always go with the stable version just because it's stable and I have a 64 bit processor. I want to go ahead and get ISO. I'm gonna hit download and it takes me here and I download the file. I'm gonna go ahead and save as to my desktop just to make it easy to find it. And then you just wait a minute and while it's downloading we need one more thing. We're gonna do easy one, two, three USB installer. Okay, right here, pin drive Linux. Click on this one right here. I will link this in the description so you don't necessarily have to Google it and download it. And then we're gonna need this right here on that one, you save it to the desktop as well. All right, that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but it just finished, it saved it to the desktop. Now we're gonna go here to this universal USB installer. Uh, just double click on it, choose agree, and then you're gonna choose your thing. Uh, Clonezilla it should be down here. right there and just select your ISO and there it is on the desktop just hit open and then choose your flash drive we don't know which one it is so we're gonna go here to the computer and then as you can see it is drive D so yeah and then hit format I recommend doing that just say it real quick just say it She asked you where we're gonna go to fireworks. To grandpa's. Okay, now I'm gonna finish this. Just hit create and then hit yes. It's just doing a final sanity check because you don't want to like be doing this to like your hard drive. So hit yes and then wait for this to finish. It will take a minute depending on the speed of your flash drive. All right, so it finished up. Now on this next part, please keep in mind that every computer is different. On this computer, it happens to be F12 that gets us into our uh, boot selection. So we can choose the flash drive or the hard drive or CD-ROM or whatever we have in there. On some computers, it's Escape, like on my Asus. Some it's F1, some it's F11, some it's F12. Every computer is different. Some of them you have to actually go in the BIOS and change it to boot from the freaking you have to go to the BIOS and set it to boot from the flash drive. All right, so I didn't actually get to this. I didn't press F12 fast enough. So let's go ahead and restart it one more time. And uh, yeah. There we go. Now I can choose my USB flash drive. And uh, there you go. I just choose the default one. Just hit enter. You're good to go. It's going to start displaying all this crazy random stuff. All right, I, of course, speak English. <laughs> Are you understanding me? So don't touch key map. And pretty much everything is self-explanatory. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my flash drive at this time because it's a 64 gig drive and it'll be big enough to store this uh, thing. Okay, never seen that before. I've always had myself plugged in before doing it. What in the world? All right, start Clonezilla. All right, there we go. First thing I do, I choose the first one. I'm not an expert on this, so that's why I choose beginner mode here. In just a second, you're gonna see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the local the dev part. At this time, uh, what you saw before, I threw up all those things on the screen. That was because at this time, you're supposed to plug in the flash drive and etc. because it's gonna mount everything. So we're going to hit enter once you've connected your external hard drive or whatever you're using to Store your backup. All right, so the first one is our SSD. That's what we're gonna be backing up. So we're gonna go ahead and press on it. You should not mount the partition you want to back up as home. Okay, so no, we're gonna back up. We're gonna go to this um, XFAT drive right here, the 64 gig drive, uh, top directory, press enter. 
and then I choose beginner mode. Now this is the tricky part. If you're backing up a, say a 480 gig drive, and then you're trying to restore it to a 120 gig SSD, you're gonna wanna choose local partitions as an image. It gets a little more complicated and a little more advanced. I've done it before. I successfully merged a 500 gig hard drive over to 120 gig SSD, but it was a little complicated. And so I'm not gonna sit there and try to explain something to you that I don't know about. Most of the time I just do this. Since I have a 120 gig SSD that I'm backing up, if I go to restore that on a 400 gig hard drive or a bigger hard drive, it's only gonna give me 120 gigs. But inside Windows, you can easily expand that partition to fill out the rest of your drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And then this is where it choose the image. You could change this, I guess, and put a name. Like I could do Windows 8.1 Preview. Okay, so Windows 8 1 preview dot image. There we go. All right, so now it's gonna ask me what do I wanna back up? And so I'm gonna go ahead and choose the 120 gig SSD. Skip checking repairing source file system. Uh, you wanna do that if it's uh, in NTFS, which is what we're backing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just yes, check the saved image. And then you just press enter. And now comes the fun long part of waiting for all of this to finish up. So we're gonna type yes. It's just a final sanity check. And then whenever you're restoring it and you're deleting a hard drive, it, it gets a little more complicated. I'm going to fast forward through all of this. So just, yeah, it's gonna take a while, especially if you have like a terabyte hard drive and you're trying to back that up to another terabyte hard drive. That would probably take you all day long. It's finally done with everything. Enter. All right, so at this point, we can do whatever we want to do. We can power off, reboot, uh, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just power off. Let's go ahead and do that. No, yeah, let me reboot. Let me reboot. And I'm gonna show you how to restore this. Give me just a second. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mess things up here a little bit. I'm going to go to the, uh, well, it's installing my mouse. I'm gonna go to uh, my computer. Let's let's see just how bad we can screw things up. Let's delete everything on the desktop. I'm holding shift and pressing delete. That way it doesn't uh, put it in my recycle bin. It just wipes it all out. So shift and delete. Why is that not working? Control. Oh, I can't delete my recycle bin. Shift and delete. And then yes. All right, so let's go to my computer. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, local disk C. And let's screw things up, shall we? Let's, let's just screw things up. Yes, delete. Uh, do this or I'll, yes, continue. Oh my goodness. Would you ever do a thing like this? No, no, you just, you wouldn't. You would never, ever screw things up this bad. Hopefully not. So apparently a lot of things won't be able to delete. So we're just gonna skip that. All right, I've, I've messed things up, you know? Like, huh, this program files, this is, there's, yeah. So what else can I do to really screw things up? All right, I'll just leave that alone. We'll go to the computer real quick and we'll see that we have 93.3 gigs free. Our desktop is cleared. We are going to go ahead and reboot this thing. And kind of like we did to back it all up, we're going to do the complete opposite and restore it. I missed the freaking opportunity again to press F12. All right, this time I will not mess it up. I'm slamming the F12 button. I'm slam. There we go. Reboot to USB mass storage. Same process, kind of, sort of, just choose reverse options. I could take this all a step further. 
I could put Puppy Linux on this flash drive and I could wipe out the C drive completely or just format it and not even have Windows or I could install Linux on this thing. I could do whatever I wanted to and this right here will bring me back to the way things were just a few moments ago when I had all this stuff on my desktop and before I deleted anything. So again, I'm going to go ahead and press English. Don't touch key map. Start Clonezilla. Work with uh, disks or partitions. Use local device. So at this time, we're going to go ahead and plug in our uh, unplug our mouse since I only have a couple USB ports. I plugged in my 64 gig flash drive. Now I'm going to go ahead and press Enter. All right. So again, I'm going to go ahead and mount the uh, XFAT drive, the 64 gig drive. Yeah. Top directory. Enter. I'm going to choose beginner mode. And instead of choosing save local disk as an image, I'm going to restore an image to local disk. And there we go. There's that Windows 8 preview thing that we did. So let's go ahead and press enter. And then it's going to say, what do you want to restore it on? And right now we're going to be choosing our 120 gig SSD. Press enter. Press enter. And then this is like a final sanity check. It's going to ask you more than once, press Y and enter, and then one more time, press Y and enter. And then this, again, it's going to take a long time. You're going to be staring at the screen for a good minute. I'll be back when it's finished, and we'll show you what happens when we root our computer. Three, two, one, enter. All right, so at this time, we can just go ahead and press up and then choose reboot, enter. Do you remember just a minute ago how we deleted everything that was on the desktop? We completely deleted everything we could in our C drive while in Windows. And now we should have all that stuff back. So again, like if you had installed Linux, if you had installed any other operating system like Windows XP, Windows 7, or anything at all, this will get you back to the way things were. Like a, like an Android backup of your, of your phone, except it's on your computer instead of your phone. It's really, really cool. Look at that. See? You see these files on our desktop? All of it's here. That clonezilla that we did. SD formatter, everything is back. If we go to our computer, and look at that, 92.9 .9 gigabytes, all those things are there. Not an issue in the world. Stuff's on our desktop. We can go to properties and see that. It's <laughs> it's completely back to the way things were. It's pretty freaking awesome. What, what more could you ask for? All of our history that we were on Windows. Yeah, all of our history is still there. I mean, it's it's a complete like image, like a <laughs> it was an image you restored. So it's pretty freaking awesome. That's how you do it. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. It's gonna be pretty hard to put all this together, and it's a lot of footage. So please give this video a thumbs up. That's all I ask for. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out. Now that you know how to make a backup of your computer, why not try Windows 8.1? There's an annotation in front of your screen right now. Click on it and it'll show you how to install Windows 8.1 and then you can use the backup you just made and restore it at a later date if you decide you no longer want Windows 8.1. Links to that video will be in the description below as well.